you say doing comedy is harder or raising a baby? <laughs> oh, that raising a baby is much harder, man. Yeah, really? Doing comedy is, yeah. Cause, now yeah. it's a breeze for you. You're yeah, because like, oh, you have a choice. Doing comedy, you have a choice. Uh, you could take an off night, right? You could be sick. You could ask other comedians to do three more minutes and a lineup show. Or if it's your solo, you can, at, at most, you can cancel it and lose some money. Baby, if they need you, they need you, man. You could be sick as a dog and you have to look after them, right? That's, that's like the everyday grunt that gets you. Wow. But it's the, I have to end it like this right now. It, it's, it's, the, it's the most beautiful thing you will ever do. <laughs> yeah. I, cannot, <laughs> I cannot just leave it at its heart. <laughs> Let's do another 20 sad. minutes of you sad about <laughs> <Yeah>. baby. <laughs> you have, uh, I have learned from all the pain. You have to finish with this line. Yeah. 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 What, what has been the biggest like challenge but also one of the best things about raising your baby the best things is when you wake up in the morning and she says hi I don't know, she's starting to learn to say hi and she just she wakes you up and she just like just a little tap and then she's like hi and then it brings i think it almost makes me cry every time i hear that uh, it does make you cry yeah and um like i have a and like breaks my heart when i have to go Mm. like traveling like I, man i have never i did not cry for the first 37 38 years of my i, I don't have, remember crying I, I cried as a child obviously after that i don't remember crying as an adult and now i just cry every time i'm just like uh, saying goodbye and it's tears pop out <laughs> and my wife is like what the fuck is going on <laughs> Why are you crying? i don't know you like this <laughs> yeah what, the, what is going on i'm just crying like a baby i'm like i don't want to go <laughs> so that that is uh, that's the most beautiful thing the emotions mm. that come out of a man, I think, when you become a dad. I mean, the, wor the bad things are obviously like, it's not a bad thing, but it's like sacrifices that you have to make, obviously. Can't go out as much. Can't do as much comedy. Like, I can't hustle like the, like the 20 year olds, <laughs> right? Like doing seven gigs a night. And back, hey. Come back from Sydney, 6.30 on stage again. <laughs> Fuck that shit, man. I hey, man, I'm married to the game. Yeah, That's what I'm doing game. right now. Yeah. Mm. While, I ha while I'm single, I'm going to take advantage. You gonna have, do you think about having kids ever? Like, uh, a little bit. I don't do know. you have a philosophy on it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I agree with the philosophy of having a family. Yep. Um, I think it brings uh, way more value in, into your life yep. and more meaning and purpose to help even even help further other parts of your life i think you know because i yep. feel like it would, it would put a fire under your ass to like really make it yep in comedy yeah specific to what i'm doing right now uh, to provide for the kid or wife right all those things mm. um so yeah i mean like i i, I eventually i think would want kids uh, well I, I mean i want a partner more than anything okay right like um, yeah. i don't i don't care about bullshit fucking games and hooking up and stuff like that really like it's more so i'm just i'm i i would want a ride or die partner first obviously yeah. and with the right woman then yeah i probably because I, I don't know what it feels like right now i can't it's hard to tell but i feel like when i'm if i'm in love with a woman and like she's she's my ride or die she's the perfect woman for me then yeah like i, I feel like i would strongly want to have kids at that point but mm. for now i don't know because it's like whether mm. i have it or not it's not a huge deal to be honest because i'm just focusing on my shit but yeah yeah um yeah like a, it sounds sounds great you know um mm. but we'll see i don't know it's yeah, you see, it's, not, it's not something you think about right now right once when you have, i guess you start thinking about when you're sort of close to getting married or have a long-term partner that's when you start thinking oh man do well, i want a family yeah yeah and and yeah. I, I feel like you know because women do this much better than men do i think women they envision a long life with a guy yeah it's like pretty much as soon as they meet them Within yep. the first like day or a week or whatever, because they 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 have to think about these things. Yeah, because they're yeah. also on a biological clock too. Yeah, especially with wanting to have kids, right? So they gotta think about the future more. Yeah. Um. But for men, I feel like they're more in the moment or like in the present with the relationship yes. specifically. Um. But yeah, I, I agree. It's like you have to almost feel at first. You have to feel love first. Yeah. Yep. And then maybe that changes. I don't know. Is Mine's that how it was for you? Yeah, I mean, um, I I always wanted, I don't know, I had this impression, I always wanted kids. Like, when I, even when I was like in my early 20s, I used to think, oh man, I used to tell my friends, I'm like, man, I want to have kids really early, get it over with. So, so when I'm like 40, my kids would be like 15, 16 year olds, mm. and then I'll be like laughing, right? So I'll have a second life. Mm. But I didn't get, didn't get to do that for whatever reason. I think got busy, my perspective changed, I came to Australia and all those things happened. So I had a baby. Really, I'm I'm 40 now. So I'm, I'm my You're first. You're 40. Baby. Yeah, I'm 40. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. 
man. They are not going to release this podcast anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this podcast is for young people. <laughs> you old fuck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, 